Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the so the truth lies within, and now we can continue the recording of first of March. Sorry, first of April, and it's not an April Fool. It's not first of March. It's first of April. So, Supreme Father wants us to become a fool. Fool means a flower. Yes. So that fool is an English fool, but in Hindi you say fool. Fool means a flower. So he wants us to become a flower. So welcome to first of April. Now, don't make a fool of yourself. Don't make a fool of others. Follow a godly path. Follow a spiritual path and become like a flower, because we'll realize sooner or later that we are making a fool of ourselves. We think that we are moving ahead in our life. Maybe financially we are doing better, but at the end of the day. Are we happy? Are we peaceful? Constantly, will be decided when situations become tough. So we have to become like a flower, just like a lotus flower, on which even the muck cannot come and get stuck. So the muck will just slip down because the lotus flower doesn't let the muck stick onto it. So we have to become like that flower, a lotus flower. Let's understand what does Baba want us to do over here. Baba says. May you move forward by having truth and manners in your words and in your behavior, and become an embodiment of success. We have truth, but do we have manners? Is what will decide whether somebody listens to us or not. Yes, this is very important, very crucial for people who are on to the hierarchical stages, where they are CEOs, where they are managers, where they are heads of the family as a father and a mother. People don't listen to us. Why? Because of this reason. Let's understand this. Constantly remember that the sign of truth is manners. If you have truth within you, then you'll have manners. You won't have to shout it out. You won't have to scream on top of your voice. You don't have to use ego to prove it. If you have the power of truth, actually, you would never let go of your manners. Imagine two people. One is a boss. One is a subordinate. The boss is trying to tell the student or the subordinate that you are wrong. You shouldn't have done like this. You are telling lies, and the boss is shouting at the subordinate, or a school teacher is shouting at the student. What do you think? Who is more powerful over here? Now, if you think from a impure intellect, you will think, no, the boss is right. Boss is shouting, so he has the right to shout. God over here says something else over here. God says, if you have the power of truth, you will never let go of your manners. You you may prove something to be truth, but do it with manners. Can be done with manners. The sign of manners is humility, and the sign of not having manners is stubbornness. Now imagine those two people, who's being stubborn, shouting, screaming, getting angry is not mannerism. Is not royal mannerism. God says when your words and behavior are expressed with manners. Your words and your behavior, you're expressing the same thing. The boss is still saying the same thing to the other person that what you are trying to say might not be the truth, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to punish you for what you have done. You don't have to tell lies to me. Let's find a solution to the situation. Let's move ahead. Let's move on from the situation. You don't have to lie to me because I'm your boss. You don't have to lie to me because I'm your teacher. Don't be afraid of me. But if the boss has been screaming and shouting for the past. Couple of years, and then suddenly the boss says something like this. It will be very difficult for the subordinate, or very difficult in terms of teacher and student, for the student to understand what exactly the teacher is saying. He'll be confused, or she'll be confused. Is this another game? Is this April Fool going on over here? Is the teacher playing a prank on me? So God says mannerisms are important. If they are constant, then people will not lie to you. Then God says. When your words and behavior are expressed with manners, you will be successful. Successful in what? Maintaining the relationship, making people be truthful to you as a boss, truthful to you as a teacher. This is the way for you to move forward. Otherwise, it will be difficult. You'll be shouting and screaming, scolding people around, and they'll be hiding the facts behind you, and you will never be able to make a good. Leader out of yourself, or lead the organization, lead your family, or lead anything. God then says, if you have truth but no manners, you cannot achieve success. You have truth. You are trying to tell people that be truthful. I don't like to hear anything which is false. I hate to hear it false. But God says, if you are saying it out of anger, if you are saying it out of rage, 
then people will still be lying to you in the future you will not be able to be successful in bringing about leadership in bringing about maintaining unity in your family maintaining unity in your organization maintaining unity in your business organization think about it for more information you can visit the brahma kumari center and understand the same thing in details with us om shanti